What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Clipchamp. But of course, you guys have seen me working with Clipchamp in the past. They've been very kind to me. We actually have a, some new features that I want to show you guys to actually, you know, edit more efficient and all that. So of course, if you guys are excited and if you want to learn more about Clipchamp, make sure to check out the link down in the description. You can find a lot more. So make sure to click through right after the video. Hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here and if you want to see more clip jam tutorials on the channel as well so guys with that all the way let's go ahead and get started using clip jam right after the intro Alright guys, so moving forward, as you can see, we are on the Microsoft page where we can get the Clipchamp, the best free video editor for creators, sales and marketing. You can find the link down in the description. So right here it says a get button. It's free as well, so we're going to click on there. Then it's going to take us straight to the download after we have signed in. So I have actually two computers in my apartment. So I'm going to pick the bottom one, which is going to be this one that I've been using right now for the recording. And then I'm going to hit install now. Okay, so once everything is installed, you will see right here this blue check mark where it says you own this app. So let's open up Clipchamp and let's get started. All right, guys, so this is Clipchamp, the main screen. So you, of course, want to first sign in using your Microsoft account. You can use uh, Google, Facebook, or you can also sign in with Dropbox. But I'm going to just use my regular email for this one. So right here, we got asked this question, what sort of videos bring you to Clipchamp? Education, content, business, corporate, or personal? So for my videos, I would actually pick content right here it says you're a content creator so i'm going to click on this button what kind of content creator right here we have influencer gamer musician podcaster vlogger coach consultant or speaker or other so for my videos of course tutorials they you know educate people or coach or anything how you can see that so i'm going to click on this one okay so now we landed on our main dashboard where we can see all our you know videos that we created or drafts that we haven't finished and all that so right here on the very top we have home videos brand kit and template library and what's really awesome in this menu we have over 800,000 premium stock videos images and audio files with a full commercial license built in so you don't have to actually worry about you know your budget or to spend a certain amount of money on just only one track or 30 seconds or a clip. Let's click on create your first personal video. So then it brought us to the main editor where we have our preview right here in the middle. We have our timeline at the very bottom and on the left, of course, all the menus where we want to navigate through such as importing our media right here. We can actually capture a few things such as our screen and our camera or camera actual recording, the screen recording and text to speech, which is actually a very, very nice feature. So let's click on there and let's type in the text that we want to type in. So right here, let's say we're going to type in, in this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through Clipchamp. We can choose the language. We have all kinds of language we can choose from English. We have, you know, all different accents. We have different voices, male, female. So let's pick the English United States. So let's see what that sounds like. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through Clipchamp. So that sounds really, really, you know, realistic. It doesn't sound like a bot or that is like Google Translate that is just reading, you know, words as separate words to put that together as a sentence is actually very, very nice. Okay, so right here we have the templates menu where we have Instagram, YouTube, gaming, social media ads, celebrations, Pinterest, and all that. So right here, let's click on YouTube. And it's very cool that you have like, you know, really short intro templates and, you know, name introductions. It's very, very nice. I'm not gonna go over all of that because I wanna keep this video relatively short. So right here, we also have a music menu where we have free to use music such as happy and upbeat, dramatic, chill, you have all kinds of green screen clips that you can use. We have Pride, we have used in templates, sci-fi, creator to creator, celebrations. Everything is ready for you to explore. Let's go to the stock images as well, which is very, very nice if you don't want to go and download something from Google to make sure that everything is sorted with copyright and all that. This is just free to use. Very, very awesome. Of course, we have our standard text feature, which is already animated for you. You just drag that into your timeline right here. Then right here, if you click on the text, it is very nice that you can make sure to align it and it's nice perfectly centered as well to change up the text we're going to click on text at the very top and then right here it says smoke and let's get i'm going to type in my youtube name we can also change up the font if you want to looking very very cool so let's play this back as you notice, a very, very nice and basic, you know, kind of name introduction. It is pretty animated for you. You gotta imagine that how much time it saves instead of doing this all of yourself and masking it and using keyframes. It is really, really effective. All right, so we can also add in backgrounds. So let's add in this background right here and let's time that up with the smoke. 
that actually could suit like a nice transition to a different clip, for example. You have all kinds of giphy ones. We have also stickers. If you want to drag that and use these ones as overlays into your project, it's very, very cool. It also looks almost like a GIF, like it's moving. We also have backgrounds, black, white. We also have a solid color. If you click on this panel, as you notice right here, we can change up to any color that you like. Below that, we also have our transitions. So this is a push from the right, a cross blur. So let me drag in some footage and let me show you actually how to get started using the basics, how to apply some color grading effects to spice up your clips and also how to use these transitions. All right, guys, so this is the clip from a video from last week. So, of course, this is shot very plain. That's what I always do. I actually shot this almost in black and white, just that gives me a lot of more color grading options. Okay, so right here at the top, we have layout, transform, filters, adjust colors, fade, speed, and audio. Click on filters. So as you notice right here, we have all kinds of filters, but it's not really what I'm looking for. So I'm going to keep this one on unfiltered and I'm going to go to adjust colors right here. So we're going to first bring up the saturation quite a lot actually like this also the contrast as well so right now if you look at this clip that looks very very nice you can also go and add in a filter in a really really subtle way if you click for example on one of these because right here if i hover over with my mouse on the filters you can actually see the difference right here my skin tone gets a little bit warmer so i think this outdoors filter is looking very very nice and now this is actually usable for youtube just by using two sliders and this filter the saturation and the brightness so let's go ahead and create a transition so right here in the timeline if you want to split or you know cut your clip you want to press s on your keyboard that's very easy to keep in mind s from split and then we're going to drag this one to the right to make a cut so let's place this one against each other and let's see what that looks like Okay, so right here, as you notice, we have the jump cut. So to make that a little bit less harsh and a little bit more smooth, we're going to look at the transitions menu right here to see which one would fit. I think this cross blur is not really what we're looking for. So I would say to use a jump cut, this could actually work, but if you want to move into something else like your official intro, I think this cross blur would be very nice. So let's go and use this one and let's see what that looks like. You wanna drag that onto this plus icon and then it is applied. Okay, so it's not really that visible to see because it's actually the same clip as you notice, but let's go and pick a transition that's a little bit more visible. Let's say this push right. Let's drag that on top of the plus icon. This is what it looks like. That looks really, really cool. It's also very, very smooth. And these are just one of the ways to apply your transitions on. So now that you know the basics, how to color grade in your timeline and how to cut and split, let's go to the timeline button right here and let's pick the Instagram button. And let's see which one we can actually customize for Instagram. All right, guys, so let's say I want to promote my album that's coming out very soon. So right here we have this nice story. So let's go and click on there. And now we can click on use this template and that's gonna be able to, you know, also adjust or, you know, aspect ratio. It's going to change from 1920 by 1080 to the opposite, 1080 by 9020. So right here we have our button. So right here it says we are live. At the top it says text. We're going to hit that and then we can just change up the text. Let's say new album. Change up the font as well if you don't want to use you know, the font three times over and over again. So now that we have done the top one, we're going to click on the second layer, which is this one. And then we're going to change that up to, let's say we're going to type in the word dropping 11. 21. That's not actually a day, but just to give you an example of how to change that. And then right here, we also have the transform button if you want to keep everything centered. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we have a really nice template. So this one is right here loaded and buffered, completely ready for us to customize. So of course, we have a preview. Below that, we have all our files that we can replace to all our wants and needs. So right here, we have the text file. So we're going to click on text at the very top. And then it says, hey, Fred. Now we can also change that up to a different character if you like that. So right here we have also our background. So we're gonna click on this bin icon so we can go and insert our own clips. So now let's go to our library of footage. Right here when we click on stock video, we can browse through the categories that would be fitting. So let's go and click on this one. I think that is very nice. So I'm gonna click on add to my timeline. Of course, we're going to position that right here where the original file was. So as you see right here, we have now completely you know replaced the background. It's very, very nice. And then we also have our other overlays such as this clip champ one which is the watermark so let's say that this is our presentation what you can do is you can just go and delete this clip 
from your timeline right here if you click on this bin icon and then it's really simple just to insert your own green screen clip your own webcam footage etc and then also your own audio and then right here we have our email address or a phone number as well that you can really really simply customize right here with the text editor so now that we've done that it's important to first save your file and give it a name before we're going to start exporting all these templates are completely customizable and clipchamp has it all so you want to click on the export button we're going to give this a name let's say we're going to call this social media trailer and then we're going to pick our resolution of course the best quality 1080p right here we have a draft but of course you want to pick the quality that's where you will see that these three dots are appearing and then you want to hit continue and then it's going to export your clip now i want to mention that if you're using the software and it is actually a little bit limited you can now use my coupon code right here on the screen also at checkout to make sure to save yourself a certain percentage because of course all these features that are so amazing can be unlocked but of course a lot of things are free as well but if you feel the need to pick up the full version to use it to its full capacity make sure to check out this coupon code at checkout all right guys so i'm going to also leave you with the clipchamp youtube channel itself if you want to learn more about this if you're curious and excited about learning more how to use this or if you want to use a certain feature that i haven't covered in this video make sure to check out the clipchamp youtube channel as well there's a lot of content for you to explore the coupon code gives you one month of free access to clipchamp's business platinum tier which includes unlimited video stock and audio use and custom branding options all the info can be found down below and that is how simple it is all right guys so that's it for this video thanks a lot for your continued support this is how to use clipchamp how to download it onto your notebook onto your chromebook onto windows everything like that also the new features the text-to-speech is actually really really awesome it's my personal favorite just because of how time saving it is so that's it guys all the info can be found in the link in the description i want to thank clipchamp for sponsoring this video and i'll see you guys obviously in the next video